does Autodesk enable companies to design and manufacture at the speed of thought? Oh, I like that whole thought. Our next guest is the Senior Industry Manager for Automotive and Transportation with Autodesk, Ed Martin. Ed, welcome into tomorrow. How you doing? Great, great. How are you today, Dave? I'm doing well, and uh, you're certainly keeping busy here at Autodesk University. A lot of activity as it relates to the kinds of things that your group is involved in. Uh, first, tell me a little bit about uh, your background in the auto industry, which, of course, brings that experience to Autodesk. Absolutely. So, you know, I've worked in the auto industry for a number of years. I'm not going to admit to how many, yeah, but a, enough to have, a few. you know, enough to have some experience. <laughs> yeah. And uh, both in the U.S. and in Europe. So I lived in Europe for a while. And, you know, that provided a great background for coming into Autodesk and really bringing some of that industry experience and combining it with the technology expertise that Autodesk has to really create solutions for customer problems. It's mm. just fantastic. And it is good to have that kind of yes. experience in any industry that you're now working with from a design standpoint. And I love this whole uh, concept about uh, being able to, to design and manufacture at the speed of thought. So how, how does that relate to what you guys are doing these days? Well, you know, really what we, you know, we call it digital prototyping, but really what it is, it's about giving customers the tools to design, simulate, visualize their ideas before they have to make them real. And it's fantastic. They can understand how, how things are going to work, how things are going to look, show them to their customers, and it really just brings ideas to life and digitally. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's much faster, much better. It's, it's exciting. And there's a number of tools, no doubt, from Autodesk that are helping to make this happen so that people realize things at the speed of thought that they never could before. Absolutely. We've got a wide range of products. And what's really unique about Autodesk is that we bring together not just our manufacturing solutions, but we have the Media and Entertainment Group that, uh, you know, we've won an Academy Award. And we bring a lot of that exciting visualization technology used for film and games, and we can combine that and provide those same tools to manufacturing companies or architecture. And, you know, the fact is every manufacturer manufacturers of products in a factory. It's a building. So bringing all these things together is really kind of a unique capability that Autodesk offers. I figure, Ed, you must be seeing some interesting uh, innovation and designs for that matter, certainly in the automotive and transportation equipment end of things, too. Yes. How is that migrating over these years? And, and what do you see that's got you excited? Well, I, I, you know, it's really exciting being able to hear, hear it Autodesk University meeting with all the customers. So far, in just the last two days, I've met with customers that build planes, ships, and boats, automobiles, and high-speed trains. And, uh -huh. you know, and talking with these customers and seeing what they're doing and what the kind of exciting new ideas they're coming up with, you know, addressing challenges with sustainability and cost improvement, all these things, there's just a, an enormous amount of um, energy going into innovation in these industries. And and you, you, I'm sorry? No, 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 that's good. You were talking about things like cars, boats, and planes, mm -hmm. which brings me to, from a consumer standpoint, aesthetics seem to be very important to a lot of people. Uh, when you're designing something that they are going to use or fly or drive or, or whatever, um, how has that changed in the last few years? And, and what is Autodesk doing to help not only make things functional in your design, but make them pleasing to the eye? Oh, absolutely. And we're really the, the leader in the industry for aesthetic design with Alias products. And our, every automaker in the world, uh, just about every transportation equipment manufacturer in the world, uses our products to do that upfront design and to optimize the aesthetics. And um, it's becoming really a competitive battleground. Uh, and the, you know, if you drive a car, you spend 99% of your time in the interior of the car. It has got to be appealing to you. True. And yet safety has to still be an issue because that's got to be that fine line, especially in design, where you can't throw that kind of stuff out the window. So that, I bet, is a whole separate set of challenges. Make it pleasing. Aesthetics are important. But now you've got to make sure that it's still very safe. Absolutely. So you've got to really be able to bring together the design aesthetics with the functional engineering requirements. And, and like I said before, because we play in so many different fields, the highly technical to the highly visual, we can synthesize those together in a way that, you know, uh, that's unique. Can you provide us with a couple of success stories? I know you talked about meeting with a lot of these mm -hmm. companies that are doing these designs. And, of course, here at Autodesk University, it's a great way to do that, whether you're here in person or registered virtually, as many have. Um, but you must have some great success stories where people are saying they just couldn't have done it without the software and all the right things that the tools are getting to use. Sure, I'll give you a couple of examples. So uh, one from Aerospace, uh, Bombardier. They're the world's leading manufacturer of uh, business jets, private jets. Uh -huh. And uh, they're using uh, some of our products for when they go out to sell a, uh, a jet to someone, the visualization technology to show what's this going to look like customized to exactly what you want. Or 
uh, Holden Special Vehicles in Australia. You can go to their website and you can configure a vehicle exactly the way you want it using our software. So or, the consumer can configure yeah. the vehicle? Yeah, and you can well, see cool. you can see exactly what it's going to look like in much, much a higher level of reality than you could than you can in many other places. Yeah. Or companies like Autoleave, it's a Swedish uh, manufacturer, and they're using our products to design all of their manufacturing equipment. So everything from the highly visual to the highly technical again. Very cool. And from a consumer standpoint, it's a whole lot more than just uh, selecting uh, you know, vinyl color or leather color or, or style or whether you want wood grain or not. It gets really detailed. Exactly. And you know what? You really want to understand, if you're spending money on something, what it looks like before you buy it. And that's a huge advantage. Oh, for sure. Well, when you swing by our site at intotomorrow.com, check out this weekend's show for the broadcast of the weekend of December 11th. Uh, we'll be linking you to a special site at autodesk.com, but a special site that Ed and his team are working on. You'll see some of these things in action and uh, get more information and, of course, be able to contact them if you're in these fields and want to get more involved and truly get into tomorrow with Autodesk Design Software and Programs. Ed Martin, thanks for spending a few minutes with us here at Autodesk University. Dave, thank you very much. We're back with more as Into Tomorrow continues. I'm Dave Graveline. This, the Advanced Media Network.